Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another meta guide. So all three leagues begin tomorrow. So we're going to have the open grade, open ultra and open master league. So let me know which one you're going to be playing. I'll probably do a guide on the ultra league a little bit later today. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm looking forward to it. The ultra league is definitely, in my opinion, my best league and my favorite one as well. But open great league is fun as well. Um, I actually like all three. I'm just not good at the master league. I need to learn uh, the master league a little bit better. Um, uh, but with, with that being said, we're in the Open Great League for this guide, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into it and see what we got going on uh, for us today. So, the S rank, we have Cloudsire. Cloudsire is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic Pokemon, right? I mean, obviously you want the Poison Sting, you want the Earthquake, and then you could run it with Sludge Bomb, or you could run it with Earthquake. Both moves are good, so really uh, depends on what moves that you want uh, for your Cloudsire and the rest of your team. And then we have Cobbink, so... I don't know, I'm, maybe I put Cubbink a little bit too high high on the list, but Cubbink is so flexible, like, even against Pokemon it doesn't necessarily want to see. For example, Machamp, it still has play against it because it has Moonblast, right? So, you know, you, you can still do really well with the Cubbink, uh, of course, against some Pokemon, or well, against the Gator. Obviously, it hates water types, uh, water damage, but, you know, it's still going to be doing a lot of damage with uh, its fast move, and then you can get to the charge moves, maybe pick up a shield... Um, and it's just, it's, it's so flexible. It's a lot better than Bastion Don, right? Um, but some Pokemon it does not want to see at all like the Cloud Side because Cloud Side is going to wall it. That being said, next up is the Gator, for Alligator, or the Shadow version of for Alligator. I've always used the Shadow one. The regular one is good as well. I just like the damage on the Shadow one. You definitely want the Shadow Claw and, and Hydro Cannon for sure. And then the second move, well, previous seasons we saw a lot of Crunch. Uh, this season we're seeing more of Ice Beam, uh, and I'm kind of leaning towards Ice Beam this season as well. I've been using it on my Shadow for Alligator. But it really, again, depends on your team. Next up, we have Gastrodon. Yeah, Gastro Gastrodon, really, really good Pokemon. Of course, Mudslap uh, buff helped this Pokemon out a lot. Uh, we hardly ever saw it, certainly not in the Open Great League before the, this season. Um, we saw it in like, the Sinnoh Cup in the past, but like, like it was very, very rare. But because of the Mudslap buff, it's, it helps out Gastrodon so much. Uh, and then we have Dunsparce, so Dunsparce does have, did receive a rollout buff. I mean, obviously it always had rollout, but it received the buff to rollout, and it's going to be doing more damage. Um, none of the moves, I mean, it has great coverage, just none of the moves are stab, which stand for same type attack bonus. But um, still, really, really uh, good Pokemon, and uh, just great coverage uh, in the meta. For sure. And then we have Mandibuzz, a bulky, bulky flying type Pokemon. It can take hits for days, even super effective hits, right? Uh, so one of the best flying types. And then we have Pangol. Pangol has been a lot of fun. So the two fighting types we see, we don't see the poly. I mean, you see it once in a while, but you generally don't see Polyrath, you don't see Annihilate, you certainly, certainly don't see Vigoroth, right? Uh, County uses in general a kind of extinct, but the Karate Chop Pingo and the Karate Chop Machamp, both really good. I love using, every time I use Pingo, I just, it seems like I did do so well with it. I just love Pingo. Um, Machamp as well. Machamp is a double legacy uh, Pokemon. I mean, the Karate Chop is a legacy, which you need on Machamp. But then Stone Edge is as well. You could run Rock Slide on Machamp. I'm getting ahead of myself. That is Machamp and Pingo. Both of them are fantastic. Clefable, don't see it too often, um, as much as I expected in the Open Great League, to be honest. But it does charge out really fast. It gets to the Swift super, super fast, uh, which is a great bait move as well. And also the Moon Blast. As medium ash as well, uh, if you want to consider medium ash. Moving on to the A rank, Bastiodon. Bastiodon, listen, SmackDown was nerfed, right? And, you know, fair enough, it, it was nerfed. But, um, you know, if, if it's walling a Pokemon, it's walling a Pokemon despite that nerf. Uh, it does affect it for sure, but um, it's still a Pokemon that is just going to completely wall off, like, any fly, if you have a flying type, it's going to wall off that, you know. But it's also, there's also a lot of Pokemon in this meta that do really well against Bastiodon, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, and then Malamar. Malamar, oh, fantastic with the Psy Wave buff this season. Absolutely love to see it. Superpower, Foul Play is the way to go, in my opinion. Malamar is absolutely fantastic. I see this Pokemon a lot on the lead. And then we have Quaxi. Yes, Mudshot was nerfed, and it, it, it does affect these Mud Boys. Um, like like Wishcash, Swamp It, and Quagsire, but Quagsire or Shadow Quagsire is still a re really good one. I'd recommend the Shadow one, uh, honestly. Then we have Azumel. Oh, Azumel is so good. Azumel, 
it is a good safe swap. Obviously, a Toxapex is really common this season, so you just have to watch out uh, for that. But still, Azumel uh, is really good. Most of the time, it, it's running Ice Beam and Play Rough. It also has Hydro Pump, but usually I see Ice Beam, Play Rough. Toxapex is just such a bulky Pokemon, and obviously it's going to wall the Fairy types like the Azu. <laughs> you know, um, Then we have Kanto Malwak or the Shadow version. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately... The shadow, uh, the shadow version of Marowak is very limited. It was released... I mean, it hasn't been in Rockets, f from what people are saying, for like two years. Like, I, I didn't even know it was that. I don't have one. They didn't bring it back with the last rotation, unfortunately. So you got, got to keep on waiting for it. And it, it dominates... It dominated the Play Pokemon... Uh, the Play Pokemon tournaments. You know, it's just so good, the Shadow version. But unfortunately, we cannot get the Shadow version. You can't trade for it. They should allow you to trade for Shadows, right? I mean, even... E okay, so allow them not to go lucky. I understand why they don't allow you to trade for them. Obviously, if it goes lucky... Um, then you have a, tw a minimum 12, 12, 12. And then if you purify it, minimum 14, 14, 14. There'll be a lot of hundos, right? I, I get that. I get that. So I understand why they don't allow you to trade them. But they can still allow you to trade them and just prevent them from going lucky. Like, permanently, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, at least bring it back. You know? Because I really want the Shadow Malwak myself. Um, you could use the regular one, but the Shadow one's just so much better. I probably wouldn't even use the regular one, to be honest. Um, I would just use a different Pokemon or a different team. or use Gastrodon if you want another Mudslap user. Uh, and then we have Galarian Moltres. This Pokemon is so good. Do you have your Master Ball? Because if you do, and you f if you find one below 1500, it is worth uh, using your Master Ball on it. The problem is you don't know what stats you're going to get, right? So you could get a really bad one, but it's still a really good Pokemon. Uh, I have I actually have one. I didn't use a Master Ball on it. I just happened to catch it. It's just, um, it's not a good IV one, but you know what? It still gets the job done. Um, next up we have the B rank, we have Jumpluff or the Shadow version of Jumpluff. Uh, most of the time I do see uh, Aerialace and Energy Ball on this with Fairy Wind as a fast move. Uh, Acrobatics is a move to consider, I, you, but when it comes to like, like, if you're going with the Shadow one, I definitely go with the Aerialace. But if you're going with um, the non-Shadow, you can consider Acrobatics for this. Licka Licky, another rollout user. Dunsplus is better, but Licka Licky is another option. Sometimes I see double rollout, right? Next up, we have Drapion. Definitely want the Shadow version of Drapion. Hopefully, you have it. Uh, this has been in Rockets forever, and I think it still is. Uh, if I'm wrong, you could let me know. But I know it's it's it's. I've gotten a lot of them. Um, I have the Shadow one, although I don't think I have a good one. But I still have the Shadow one uh, for the Great League, and it's such a fantastic Pokemon. A great safe swap. Definitely good at pressuring shields. It gets to the moves fast. Uh, the common move set, obviously, the Poison Sting for the fast move, and then Crunch and Aqua Tail. It also has Slug Bomb though. Uh, Reggie Steel. I still think Reggie Steel is good, uh, even though Zap Cannon was nerfed. Right, um, still a good Pokemon. Uh, just uh, has like a, I think it's like a thirty-three percent chance to debuff. Um, so it is affected, but uh, the the damage is still the same for Reggie Steel. And then we have Gallade. Gallade gets to the move so fast with Psycho Cut. Uh, I guess the Leaf Blade in close combat just super fast. And then Diggsby. Oh, Diggsby has definitely been going to town. Uh, this and I get I get why I mean look at it Cloud Sire is all over the place it does great against Cloud Sire right it does good against Dunsplash really good against Dunsplash because you do resist the rollout uh, it's just such a good Pokemon um, and it's so bulky I have a rank two and I'm really happy with it. I love using Diggersby then we have Wigglytuff Wigglytuff Swift was boosted so you do get to the Swift in, uh, in six charms and then Icy Wind. Uh, as well, that's generally the moves that you would want on Wigglytuff. Uh, and then Chestnut, maybe a little bit too high on the list, but I'm telling you, I used a team by It's Axin, the 2023 World Champion, and it, it, it had Chestnut in, and I did so well with it. I can't wait to try the team again. Uh, for the other options, we have Machoke. I don't think we'll see this one, honestly. Just use Pango or Machamp, to be completely honest. Aurorus, another Mudslap user, Golurk or Shadow Golurk. You know, Gastrodon and Malwak are better, in my opinion. Regirock, Regirock does get to the moves, or it does get to the Stone Edge fast. Alolan Sandslash is actually a, a really good Pokemon. Probably could have bu boosted this up maybe to uh, the B rank. Um, and then Quillfish, Quillfish I think is a pretty good safe swap, although you do it well. There's a lot of times there's a lot of, um, oh not a lot of, but there's like, like one of the, um, what is it, the Mudslap uses hiding in the back like Astrodon. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, with that. Uh, obviously, Quillfish doesn't really appreciate that, but it still gets to the moves really, really fast. Alolan Malwark, 
was boosted. Unfortunately, it's not as good as it as I don't know as we would have hoped. It's still good. I mean, Fire Spin and Bone Club both were boosted, so it's not a bad Pokemon. But it's just such a lot of counters to it. And then we have Steelix. Steelix, of course. Uh, still really good, even though the Breaking Swipe was nerfed once upon a time. It still has Dragon Tail, it still has Crunch, it still has Psychic Fangs. Then we have Whimsicott, uh, another Fairy-type uh, Pokemon. Uh, Miltank, Miltank another rollout user, and then Shadow Goliath Weezing, or the regular Goliath Weezing, but the Shadow one I absolutely love. Uh, because, I mean, the, the Brutal Swings are just going to do so much more damage. And then we have Guzzlord, so Guzzlord is a lot of fun to use. I think it's a great Pokemon. Moving on to the solid team options. So for the first team, this team I believe was actually created by Wholesome Underscore on Twitch. He's also a caster for the Play Pokemon series. Uh, and it's Alolan Sandslash, Gastrodon, and the Shadow Alolan Marowak. Now I know he was saying uh, when it comes to... Or not... Did I say Alolan Marowak? I meant the Kanto Marowak. Uh, but yeah, what he was saying uh, about the Marowak is definitely recommend the Shadow version of it. But again, you all know if you don't have the Shadow version like me, you can't use the Shadow version. So keep that in mind. Um... Uh, but I do recommend the Shadow one uh, as well. I think he hit Legend with this team as well. Next up is the, the team from It's, it's Axon that I was telling you about. Chestnut and Dugong uh, and Drapion. Shadow Drapion for sure. Uh, Chestnut is a great core breaker in general, right? Because it's going to wall the Dunsparce. Obviously it does well against water types like the Gastrodon, the Feraligator, the Azu, Quagsire. Um, it will do well. Uh, against uh, Cloud Sire, if the Cloud Sire doesn't have Sludge Bomb, although it still has Poison Sting, but yeah, obviously if it has Sludge Bomb, you're not going to appreciate that with the Chest Chestnut. I feel like most of them have Stone Edge Earthquake, but it really depends. But yeah, it's just such a great core pick. It doesn't want to see Flying types, of course. It doesn't want to see Fairy types, but other than that, looking pretty good. Uh, and then next up, we have another team. I like the Shadow Jump Pluff if you happen to have it with uh, Gastrodon and then Dunsparce. Dunsparce is a pretty good safe swap, uh, all in all. Uh, it's only weak to fighting, so, you know, if a fighting type comes in, that's unfortunate, but uh, I think it's a pretty good safe swap. Next up, we have Malamar with Cloud Sire and Dunsparce, so really good team. I've used this as well with success. Um, I believe this was another of its Axon's teams, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it was, but I know I've used, I've used Cloud Sire and Dunsparce a lot in the back. <laughs> uh, and then we have another team, we have... Uh, Toxapex, and then Shadow for Alligator, or the regular one, but I'd go with the Shadow one if you have it. And then um, Digsby. Digsby is such a fantastic Pokemon. Um, and again, it will do well against the backline of Cloud Sire and Dunsparce. And then we have another team, very similar team, with the Gator in the lead, uh, and then Digsby, but then I put Cloud Sire in the back. So let me know what you think of these teams. Let me know what team you plan on running, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.